Welcome. Today we're going to look at the plugin called Obsidian Icon Shortcodes, which does pretty much what it says. It allows you to put icons in your content really easily. Before we dive into it, a few ways to support the channel. Become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Members get all my courses included. And if you are interested in learning how to use Obsidian, learning how to do Zettelcast, learning how to think well, then you can look at my courses as well on their own at curtismichael.ca slash education. Let's dive in. So as with all plugins, I'm gonna hit command comma, I'm gonna get to my settings, and I'm gonna go to community plugins, and we can search for browse, and we go icons. Uh, and it is where icon shortcodes is already installed for me. So this right here will say install and enable, and it's already done for me. So let's jump over to the options. Uh, you can see, you can find them right here uh, in your settings as well. So there's a few things you can do here, right? You can turn on this gesture, right? So if it's a uh, single uh, colon or double colon, uh, followed by a letter, replace emojis, uh, trigger with trailing white space. So if you have a space at the end, I actually want that. Uh, add space after it. Actually, I probably want add space after inserted, inserted short code. And then you can also turn on different icon packs. So it has Obsidian's built-in icons, which you can turn on and then Probably the one that this is originally came with all these different things came with Devacon, uh, Font Awesome, RPG icons, and Remix icons. Now, the reason they don't do this now is because they take up a lot of space and they just want to make the plugin smaller because they had to bundle all this with the plugin. So, if you want them, add them and they will sync as long as you have your uh, Obsidian sync settings set to sync all your plugins, stuff like that. And then you can also add your own custom icon packs if you want to do that. And then, how does it work? It works, we'll just jump right to the post. You can see I have a heart. So by using colon heart or something, colon uh, heart, right? Colon bear, right? Bearded person, hit enter, done. That's all it takes to add an icon in. And now we have that in there. This does work mobile. This does work, uh, yeah, you can say on mobile, uh, on my phone, on my iPad, no problem. I don't have an Android device, so I can't double check that, but I assume it works there as well. The one thing that causes an issue is that if you have an icon in there, you can't publish to WordPress. Uh, I found that with the WordPress plugin, uh, it just gives me an error and says it can't do it. So whatever content it's putting in there uh, just does not work with that plugin, does not either work with the WordPress side or the plugin side. I'm not actually sure where the issue is, but you can't publish to your blog on WordPress with this. I'm not sure about Ghost or anything else because I don't have those. Well, that's it. If you want to put your icons into your content easily, that's how you can do it. I'm actually going to remove the plugin because I don't use this, but I know that I've been asked about it. How do I get icons in? I see people doing this. And so this is how you do it if you want to do it. That's it. If you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. Uh, otherwise, you can become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Remember, members get all my courses included. Uh, or you can take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education. You're probably most interested in the Obsidian or the Zettelkasten courses if you watch this video. Have an awesome day.